Today I think I'm going to switch things up a bit. Huh? Huh? Bad pun. Now here's everything that we're gonna install. We have a switch plate here for the 500. You can see here for the 500, I have a voltmeter that will also double as a USB charging station. Now you can have these switch plates ordered for a bunch of different configurations, however you want. As far as you can have more switch blanks put in, more gauge blanks put in. You can have a hole here cut for the Jensen round radio and all these plates are made out of 16 gauge steel they're laser cut so all your cuts are nice smooth and precise there's no jagged edges or roughness to them and then they're powder coated so they have a tough durable finish that's going to last the life of the machine now the switch plate here for the pioneer 500 is made to go right here where this nice big in your face warning sticker is but the first thing we've got to do is get this plate off which means we're going to have to drill these rivets out and then pry this plate up because not only is this plate riveted these things are also stuck fast too with sticky stuff all right so the first thing i'm going to do is take my drill with a 564 bit and drill these rivets out now you might not have a 564 bit so basically just find the bit that's close enough to match which the holes in your rivet are and it'll work just fine And then once you have all four rivets drilled, you can just take a flat screwdriver and pry your plate off. You hang it on your wall, I don't care what you do with it. You know what I'm going to do with it? Alright, now that we have the factory warning plate off, we need to figure out where we got to cut to allow our switches to go through. So I'm just going to put this in place here, line up the holes, and trace this here. And just kind of do these corners of these outside ones. Now that I've got that marked, I'll go ahead and make my holes slightly bigger than what I actually need. Now the first thing I'm going to do is drill my hole for my voltmeter. And if you have a hole saw kit, it makes this quick and easy. If you don't, you can just cut this square with a jigsaw or even by hand with a little fine tooth saw. But I have a hole saw here, so I'm going to use it. Now this is an inch and three eighths hole saw, which will make our opening big enough that our voltmeter will just slip right through. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up, drill this hole. Just remember, you always want to make sure what's behind anything you're drilling to make sure you're not drilling into any wires or anything, which I already have the hood off. I've already checked. This is just open space behind there, so we are good to go. Now for our square here where our main switches are going to go, I'm going to have to use a jigsaw on. First thing I'm going to do is take a 5 16 bit and drill some holes here that allow me to get my jigsaw blade in place. And I want to drill these so that my hole is just to the outside of the lines I marked. <laughs> The only thing that's important here you watch is you stay away from where your plate is actually going to connect with these holes because you don't want this to be too thin and flimsy and then not hold. Okay, now that I have my pilot holes drilled, I'm going to use, this is actually a finer tooth metal cutting blade in my jigsaw. And I'm going to just stay to the outside of my lines here to make the hole slightly bigger than what I marked so the switches fit in there nice. And I'm going to cut this guy out the rest of the way. Alright, so I got everything run and hooked up. Now the hardest part in the whole install on the 500 anyway was getting the wire run from where the battery is up to the front. Because if you look, the battery is way back here in the box in the back. So you had to fish wires through underneath and then up through to come back here into the installed dash panel. Now I had an electrical fish tape 
which I was able to run this from back here the whole way up through and that made pulling wires a breeze but if you don't have one of these what you may have to do is tear you know the seats off the panels off so then you can get in there a little better to fish wires either that or go from underneath and take the skid plates off either way it's going to be a little more work involved but it's definitely doable as far as fastening the switch plate i just used some coarse thread screws i had laying around they work perfect as you can see here i have my voltmeter now the nice thing i like about this voltmeter is that it also doubles as a usb charger and you have the switch here again it will turn my voltmeter on but the nice thing like this is although it has this cover over it to protect the USB charger, you're still able to read the voltmeter through. So as far as installation on the switch plate panels themselves, super easy to do. The most involved thing is having to cut out the plastic of the dash for where your switches or gauges or whatever you're installing in the panels themselves have to go. The only tools you need for the panels is a drill bit to drill out the rivets of the factory warning plates some kind of saw in order to cut that plastic out and then somehow to fasten the plates either screws bolts rivets you know I leave that up to you guys whatever you want or whatever you have lying around that'll work like the screws that I use are just screws I had lying around that work perfectly for now so if you guys want to pick up a panel for your own pioneer then you can get a hold of Justin either by going to his Facebook page which is pioneer switch panels and accessories which I'll leave a link in my description below that'll take you right there or if you're a member of the Honda Side-by-Side -Side Club, he is username Mystic1219 on there. So you can send him a message through the forum. And Justin usually keeps various layouts of his plates on hand, ready to ship. If you need something specific, then all you have to do is let him know and he can tailor the panel to fit your needs. Again, that's Pioneer Switch Panels and Accessories. It's a great product that can fit anyone's budget. So until next time guys, it doesn't matter what you ride, as long as you ride. So keep on riding. Wunderbar!